How to create a real estate business website using the actual Wix. So hey everybody, in this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what we can do in order to uh, start creating here our very first website totally for free. So if you are uh, into the real estate, I'm assuming that you are into some into some quantities, into some properties and all that. So let's just jump into it. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description if you want to check it out. The Wix.com, you can start totally for free. So once you have created your account, it's going to be just really really easy. And then the process is exactly as you see here in to my computer so what kind of website are you creating what I want to do is to type the keywords of the actual uh, website that I want to start which in my case is real state and hit into next now as you can see we do have different uh, subjects here we have an agency you can use agent developer consolidate agency landing page development firm now in this tutorial we will be just gonna be focusing into just one actually so I'm gonna choose landing page and I'm gonna hit into next once I have already signed it there was going to be asking here the actual Wix is like what is the name of my business so let's say that this is my case I'm going to go for wide uh, properties and we hit into next sometimes it might be telling you that you can get started but here in my case it says that if you want to add something to your website like if let's say that this is just uh, so we don't have to start from scratch so this is like a really great place for example I do want to uh, enable the chat section I want to enable the forms I'm going to scroll a little bit down I can enable blogs I can enable blue bookings and of course if you want to add some events portfolio whatever you want to enable that in my case I do want to go into next and leave it like that just uh, for this specific tutorial and now there's two ways that we can proceed um, the number one is to begin using a template that was already being designed it or we can tell Wix that can be helping us to create a site in minutes and then we can customize that. In my case I don't want to look out for templates since we are we want to use some custom design made templates because Wix has a really really strong amount of templates that we can choose to leave for free. So for example here it's the real estate landing page as you can see it actually looks really really great. We have this one the first one we have the number four we have this one as well so you want to choose the one that best fits for you uh, and then you can go into continue. In my case, I don't want to go and scroll all the way down and look for the right number one. And if you want to check it out before you can edit that, you can go into view. All right, so I don't want to miss here. Uh, instead, I'm just going to go into the X mark. And as you can see, this is just an example of how it's going to be looking our actual website. So you just go and scroll a little bit down so you can see there's the actual location. There are a few photos. And of course, you have the real estate, fire your dream home. Uh, and I think it's actually looking pretty well and I do have like a small gift video here so if you kind of like what you're seeing just go into edit the site and then we can just start to edit our template all right so let's take a look here into the elements into the left part we have the add elements we have add section pages site designed more applications if you want to add those and this is really about your own business so first of all I want to focus into the elements so here uh, for example if I click here this is a section so if you want to add a new section where you want to add different elements, you can do that. But let's say for example that I want to go into the plus one, add elements, and you can see there's a lot of blocks. So we can add text, images, buttons, strip, decorative, and all that. So since we're using actually a template, we don't want to mess around here. We don't want to move a lot of things because the template actually looks really, really great. It's really, really complete in my point of view. But let's say for example that I want to add, let's say like a video down in here so if you want to add let's say for a video here I can add a new section and it's gonna be popping up this new section which says choose a section and drop it anywhere on the page so when you go here into it says add section and let's say that I want to add some basic stuff like a promotion so I can choose the one that says 50% off and I can just drag and drop like this and there we go my actual section has been gonna be added uh, speaking about the video they want you add, go into the add elements, go into video and music. So after that, let's say for example that I want to upload my own video, but I can still suggest to use a video from Vimeo or YouTube so it can be a little bit more easier to upload your stuff. So once again, just going to drag and drop inside the actual section. So it's going to be looking like this. So uh, if you don't want to see something like too merged, you don't want to worry about that, just click into the section. And then as you can see, we can see this uh, section where it says adjust section height. So I want to just move this down here until I can fill my video. So I'm just going to drag and drop once again. 
down in here and I want to resize this a little bit more. Let's say for example like that. And there we go. So with that being said, guys, I know now how to add some elements. I can add different text. I can add uh, more. Let's say I'm going to go for a new page. For example, I can add some gallery. I can have anchors. I can go for buttons, content manager, blog, even some kind of a store here. But I don't want to mess around here. I just want to move it on into the next page. So if you want to go from one page into another one, let's say, for example, that you have just selected all your information. So here, if I click which is Royal Oaks, I want to change, of course, the name of my brand. Remember, it was uh, white. I'm going to go for properties. If you want to change the title, the font size, I can just move here. I want to select, of course, all my font here. So once you are here, let's say, for example, that I want to go into another page to focus into the left part. Into the upper side, it says home. I click here, and as you can see, I have only one page at a time. So if I go into manage pages, I can add a new page if I wanted to. Let's say, for example, add page. And here, tell visitors about yourself. I can go, let's say, for example, that I want to add something about me, about a contact. So contact us, for example. I'm going to go into contact. Tell visitors who can contact you. So as you can see, I have just one basic. So I can go into add page. And this automatically is going to be popping out the page into our editor, uh, our website. So I'm going to hit into done. And now we are inside the contact version of our site. Now, as you can see, it's going to be asking us to connect a domain to our site. If you don't have one, Wix can give you one totally for free. But you have to take in mind that this one has to end with wixsite.com and then fast forward slash the one that you have just created. With that being said, if you're okay with that, you can go into continue. If you want to edit that or choose a basic plan, you can go later. But in my case, I want to leave it like that. Now, as you can see, we do have the contact section. As, we, as you can see, we could just add it here. I have the let chat. I have the about us and much more now let's say for example that i want to add a new section where i want people to connect with me online like say for a chat so if you want to look out for more applications focus into the left part where it says add applications and it's going to be popping up the add market of wix so there are a few things that come totally for free with different basic plans or business plans so you want to check it out the one that says totally free plan available for example, we'd have the social media icons. So I can choose this one. And what's going to be happening here is that I need, of course, to add this into my site. Just you have to make sure that this one is totally for free, free plan available. So I'm going to go into agree and add. And just like that, my application should be added right away. And it's going to be imported from my actual section of the page where I'm currently at. What you want to do is to save that or choose the auto saved. I'm going to go into save and continue. And then what you want to do is to hit into done and choose the one that says published. After that, hit into view site so you can see your website as it's going to be looking right now. So as you can see, this is how it's going to be looking my actual website. When someone wants to make a contact section where it says contact our agents now, or they want to choose the option and says uh, contact, and they of course uh, leave the first the last name, the email message. I'm going to, let's say for example, type Tom. Tom Ritt and the email I'm going to just, just can type example at example.com and lastly guys I'm going to go into the messages and type this is just an example you can go into your dashboard you can go into your mails into your notification section once you're here into your dashboard here's going to be appearing to our actual inbox so if I click here where it says inbox it's going to be telling me messages and here is the actual contact that has been sent me their all information. So you just need to click there and it says getting started, contact you, context aid. And as you can see, this is the actual information that the people just assigned it to me. So whether you can choose to save this actual name, the form submission, or you can just uh, use that for later for some marketing deals and all that. So this is how we can get started with the Wix using real estate. If you want to check it out more stuff, more booking services, more booking calendars, you can use that to relieve it free here. I can strongly suggest you guys to buy a really cheap um domain you can use name cheap for example this totally uh is really really low prices but that's totally up to you so with that being said guys this is how we can get started inside wix using some real estate business on a free website so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel guys thank you so much for watching the video and hopefully guys i'll see you in the next video see you soon